happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you? This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius... I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D, and let me know if anything comes up. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. <sighs> I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin's slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. The children of Arkham are in our system. All of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't there. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. Ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. 
Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Sorry. It was my fault. I'll be sure to announce myself next time. No, no, it's it's all right. It's not you. It's just my nerves are a little bit shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, it's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. I guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. But I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. So get rid of them. It'd be easy for the mayor of Gotham to make them outlaws. Declare the children of Arkham public enemy number one. Everyone in Gotham will want to turn them in. Yes, great. But how? I don't have nearly enough force behind me to bring them to heal. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. And he won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty will play dirty. <sighs> Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should- Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. 
Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. See you around, Bruce. <sighs> An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vail. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who, who is this? Hello? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I need some information from you. It's important. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. The children of Arkham hurt you, too. They don't deserve your protection. Hmm. That's not up to me to decide. I have to remain unbiased. Something you should learn to do. What does that mean? I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy, too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. 
everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. I can make you talk. You're, you're really going to threaten me. If you think I'm upholding our deal now... God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. <laughs>